Hello folks, in today's tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Reese bass that sounds just like this. Using Ableton's awesome wavetable synthesizer. So let's grab ourselves a wavetable synthesizer, drag and drop it on an empty MIDI track, and let's take oscillator 1, turn it into a sawtooth. Let's turn on oscillator 2 and also make that a sawtooth. Let's detune oscillator 2 by around 13 cents. And then let's take the whole synth and tune it down one octave, minus 12 semitones. Let's then come over to the amp envelope, turn the sustain all the way up to the maximum. And over on the right here, we're going to change the synth from polyphonic to monophonic, bring up the glide time to around 50 seconds. Turn on some unison, let's choose classic, around five voices and a little bit of the amount down. Let's have a listen to how that sounds. Great, so we're getting close already to the target sound we're looking for. Let's now do a few things. Firstly, in the filter section, let's change the first filter and turn it into a notch filter. We'll change it from clean to the lovely Oscar filter cut type and let's bring up the drive to say 3 db and boost up the resonance and now we can bring the frequency down and again we're reaching closer to the sound we're looking for you can see i'm sweeping the frequency the notch filter frequency knob up and down so let's now actually turn that into a bit of modulation here in the wavetable synth let's click on the frequency knob Go to the matrix. I'm going to choose LF01 to do that modulating and a value of around 20%. Then I'm going to choose LF01. I'm going to do some changes in here from a sine wave to a square wave, from frequency to note sync. So I'm, eighth notes is fine. And then I'm going to bring the amount right down to so something around 15%. We've now got this nice little bit of wobble on the filter frequency, the notch filter. The next thing I'm going to do is click the frequency knob again, go back into the matrix and choose LFO2, around about 20% again. And then I'm going to go into LFO2. I'm going to leave it as a sine wave and frequency, but I'm going to bring the rate right down to something like around 16 hertz. And this is now going to sweep the filter frequency up and down, adding some further modulation which is awesome. The next thing I'm going to do is turn on the second filter, change it from high pass to low pass. Let's open it right out. Let's boost the resonance a little bit. And let's also change it from clean to the lovely Oscar so we can add a bit of drive here. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. And now we have the ability here to tune the patch from being dark to bright. This could be something great to automate in your patch within the track for some really nice variations. So to make this patch finally complete, let's add some favorite audio effects here just to bring it up to the final product. I'm going to use a glue compressor, turn it on, just bring in the attack and release a little bit, bring the threshold down, just so it's gently doing a bit of work to glue everything together, bring up the makeup gain, now let's AB this. Perfect, then I'm going to turn on the chorus. I'm going to add a little bit of warmth here. Bring down the dry wet, and also the rate a little bit. Just so we've got a bit of gentle chorusing, I'm going to turn on the overdrive, bring down the dry wet to zero, and then bring it back up so it's a subtle amount of overdrive. We're also clipping here, so I'm just going to bring the volume down a little bit. Also some erosion, turn that on, bring up the amount. And I'm going to change from sign to noise. Just so we've got this nice little bit of crispy edge on the top here of our synth. And then finally, a bit of hybrid reverb, changing the blend all the way over to the left. So it's just the convolution and the dry wet down. And there we have it, folks. Our very own Reese bass patch using Ableton Live's awesome wavetable synthesizer. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video and find it helpful. Have a go at making it yourself. And of course, thank you for watching the video if you got this far, and I will catch you in the next one.